How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, I am going to not carry on with my interstellar-like trip. And I'll show you exactly why right now, actually. I ain't gonna piss ball about on the menu. Um, and then I will explain what we are gonna be trying today. Which basically is an awesome little challenge which I've been wanting to do for a long time and then I completely forgot about it and it only recently have I remembered that idea and I'm like, oh yeah, let's try that. I can't remember where I remembered it from. I must have looked at something. But yes, the reason we aren't buggering around with the interstellar trip thing is I attempted to send another rocket up to it. I don't know if that's saved. I don't know what one it is. Is it this one? The Baby Ranger. Oh, it's got to be this. I don't even know if it's saved. <laughs> oh, it might not have saved. It might be on a quick save. But basically... That was happening. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that scared the fucking shit out of me. Holy shit. But yeah, that, 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 that's what was happening. So what we'll do is we'll load a, reload a quick save. Um... <laughs> It, that wasn't what was happening. What was happening was this. This is what was happening. I tried to set another one up, and the reason I set this one up was one to counterbalance the problem with this one, where it was like sagging. But I also brought it up with a mod, uh, with the KAS mod and the KIS mod. I didn't know what one was which, so I just installed both of them. But they allow you to add these container things, which if you open them, well, I can't open it because I'm not outside, but. I can hold parts of ships in those things and then get Kerbals to actually do it on the fly, as in construct things. So I was go- I filled it with struts, and I was going to get my Kerbals to fly out and strap the rocket to the Endurance. Now, as you can see, that hasn't been entirely successful, and I cannot latch this stocking port onto this one. Or any of them, in fact. I've tried three of them. It's as if the docking ports do not work. They don't work at all. So, if anyone knows why, please fucking tell me, because it's annoying me. <laughs> but this will float off into space and uh, never be seen again. Now, what we are going to do in this video is go back to the space center. That, that rocket just... Hurling, I think, was flying it. Hurling, you can fuck off. We're going to the space hangar. Plane hangar, rather. Because we are going... To build an amphibious vi- Jesus. <laughs> they always surprise me the way they fucking drive. <laughs> that they're all pissed. Um, we are going to build an amphibious vehicle. Which can drive on land fairly well. It has to perform well at both. It has to be able to drive on land and be able to drive on water. And we might go over to Kevin. Maybe. It depends on if I can be bothered to go rescue that fowls. We are going to need to make this thing awesome looking. Something tells me making it massive is what's going to make it awesome. Now, I don't know how well and how buoyant certain things are. I don't know if there's a certain... Uh, there's certain things that are buoyant and then certain things that really just don't have any buoyancy to them at all. A lot of buoyancy in that sentence, all those sentences. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. Where'd it go? Oh, ram air scoop. <laughs> okay, that would be bad in the water. It would just scoop up water and then everything would die. I don't know why I'm putting wings on this thing. I don't need wings. Or do I? Do I need them to make it buoyant? I don't know what makes things buoyant. Whether they're just buoyant on their own. Buoyant sounds funny. <laughs> buoyant. Da -da! This is gonna explode. <laughs> I don't need the oxidizer. Get out. Right. Now we're going to need a crap ton of monopropellant. But I remembered that there is a certain fuel tank on this game which looks like life rings. We put a bunch of these on just to make it look like it floats. Whether it will, no idea. But well, I think we should put the wheels on first. Oh my god, yes, we've got to add one of these. I just, I just saw it. Where'd it go? Oh, we can add this. Oh, that looks better though. Oh, damn it. I was going to have one of the nipples on it. What one is it? Is this one? Yeah, it's this one. There, now it's like sleek. You could like run up that. It looks like, what is that bug? I think it's like an ant or something. Like 
drink stuff out of the... Oh, I can't even remember. It was in a bug's life. That's all I remember. Okay. I think we're going to give this a test. Save. Lunch. Hmm. Don't know how well this is going to go. <laughs> okay, it's... Uh, uh, okay. It does look kind of cool. It's not finished yet, but... It does look kind of cool. It's already moving. Why is it moving? Oh my god, this is so cool! I'm gonna let you... fuck happened? <laughs> is it because these wheels are literally the worst wheels on the game? Is that why no one uses them? Not just because they're huge. Because I know they can't break. Is that what happened? Yes, it is! Uh, don't worry, you're fine. There's loads of you in here. Jesus. Okay. We need new wheels, because those wheels are shit. <laughs> Okay, I've been through many iterations of different wheels, but I think I have fixed it. These were flimsy just a second ago, and I've just added more struts onto them. And... They're much less flimsy. Yay! Because I added struts to all of them. Um, and I couldn't turn it, so I've had to put some RCS on the sides, as you can see it. <laughs> uh, go! Oh, Jesus, this thing's so slow. Speed. Speed. Full speed. Yes. Okay, I should probably add air brakes to this thing as well. That would probably be quite useful. Okay, the wheels no longer, like, twitch under pressure. Are we all good in here? Yes? Okay, cool. Slow down. Slow down. Water is creeping up fast. Slow. Slow. <laughs> Slow! This is so delicate, because I don't know how this works. I know that things can be buoyant. In KSP. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, we stopped. We're going. We stopped. Stop. Oh, it makes noises. Is that good? That's loud. We're not lifting yet. Oh, ah. If only you could see my face! I'm so smug right now. <laughs> it actually works! What the fuck? This is the coolest thing ever! It doesn't move very fast, but that's why we added more! You cannot quick save. Oh, I can't quick save because we're on the surface of the water. What does it look like from in here? You're not happy about this? I am. I had no idea if this was even possible. Alright, we're gonna fire off the, the monopropellant engines. Ready for this thing to take off like a speedboat. Go! Ah! Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Need more thrust! I know this might not be the most exciting challenge ever, but who cares? It works! And it actually looks like it belongs in the water when it's like this. When it's on land, it just looks out of place. We're going to slow it down. Go to about 3 ms. Look at me talking like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on. I know you got it in you. Come on. What the hell is happening? This engine is, like, pumping out everything it's got. And we're back on land! Yay! <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe that worked. I'm having too much fun. We might try and make this smaller. Make a really small little compact version. Like a proper car. Because if I get one of the cobbles out right now, they're like the size of that door. So this thing is enormous. Compared to what it should be. Alright, we're going to make this smaller now. And we're going to make a really fast little compact version that works. I'll see you in 20 minutes. 
Okay, now this is my creation. Yes, the Amphibious Vehicle Mark II. Totally original again. But this one actually looks awesome. I don't know how well it will perform in the water. I've literally gone for looks and trying to keep it small. It's not that small, but when you compare it to a Kerbal down here, it's not that big. Definitely smaller than the one before. So we're going to try this and see how well it performs. I have, actually I'll quickly give you a run for it. There's a battery here, lights here, big RAM air scoop thing on the front which makes it look fucking awesome. Don't know why, it just does. Uh, I added two engines by adding an adapter here. Uh, that's all fuel stuff. Uh, Monopropellant engines here, here, and um, RCS thrusters here and here in case we want a little bit extra thrust. Uh, our safety parachutes are here as we learned in the last video with Rodrin being killed. Um, Safety parachute's always a thing now, because it could take off, who knows? It's got wings on it. Uh, yeah, the wings are just there for looks. Um, a way to get down on both sides, basically. And probably the most coolest thing is the retractable air brakes. They look so cool when they come out. It's like they're so hidden away, I bet you get didn't even notice. Now I can't activate them, shit. There we go. There we go. So yeah, we're going to see how this works, and these are all monopropellant engines, and I've even added like, I've gone so anal with the look, that I've even put these like strut things here. They don't do anything, they're just there, um, just so it looks even cooler, even on the side that you're not even going to see. See, I've paid attention to detail this time. No faffing about this time. Good, I didn't know if it was going to break, it could have broke easily. Oh my god, this thing works like a dream. It's so cool. The wheels might need a little bit of adjusting because they're kind of like sagging right now. But this is almost a perfect rocket. Let's uh, give it some thrust. Oh my god. Oh! Oh shit! Okay, don't give it thrust. Oh! I expected it to do that. That's, that's normal. That is normal. I expected it to do that. Right, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Or I can activate the engine, I just can't turn it on a lot. I mean, look how fast we can go just with the wheels. How fast can we go with just the wheels? We can go 25. Oh, it's actually quite stable at 25. Oh, well, it was. Yeah, it's stable. Okay, so the amphibious part, the bit on the floor, works. I've just noticed these things are actually working. <laughs> then I'm at Oh no! We've lost the wheel! Ah! Uh! Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna try and get to the end of the bloody runway. And then I'm gonna quick save it. That's probably the best plan. Can I just do this? There you go. That works. Until it doesn't. <laughs> oh god, the wheel's gonna break, aren't they? Ah! <laughs> Oh, shit. Hang on. I've got a brilliant plan. I've got a brilliant plan. Okay. So now, it will work like a proper plane. So I can zoom to the end of the airfield, apply the air brakes, slow it down, and then drop down onto the proper wheels. Let's see if I can actually drop down onto the wheels right now. So if I deploy it, retract those. It goes, it works! Can I bring them back out? I can! Oh my god, I've, uh, this is like the best thing I've ever built in KSP. What was like the previous best thing? Maybe the endurance or something like that? Or maybe just docking it. That was probably the best thing I've ever done because that was ridiculously hard. Um, especially for the first time ever trying to dock. That was quite a feat, I'd say. See, and I can turn it on these wheels. So now I can zoom to the end of the airfield and then I can just slow it down. This is perfect! Uh oh. Could be a deep shit. Break! Not the wrong way, light! <laughs> we haven't even made it to the water with this fucking thing yet. <laughs> it's got three modes, this thing. It's got supersonic fast mode. Oh, that was a bad plan. No, 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 no! Fuck! This is the one thing about KSP that I hate. Everything is so close to utter catastrophe every five seconds. 
Okay, I think we're gonna need to stop. And then we'll retract the wheels. Beep, 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 beep. And now we're down onto our proper way of driving. Now we can drive it around like a proper car. This thing is so cool. I, I know I keep saying it, but I love it. It's so good. I didn't think I could build stuff that works. As I say that, this fucking game hates me. As I say it. <laughs> Oh, that is one hell of a drop. There we go. For a car like this, that's ridiculous. Okay, I didn't even just... Oh, I did press G. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I, I was looking at the gear. Oh, gear! That's what that means! <laughs> I've always thought this thing had something to do with like a manual gearbox or something. Like, gears, gears. In a car. I didn't know it meant gears as in your wheels. That's what it means. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, quick save. <laughs> quick save here. See, it's like one of those... What is it? Is it a dinosaur? Where it like, has its little things that go... How does it come out? Uh, I don't know. Or am I just imitating something from friends? I think that's what it is. <laughs> oh, we've entered the water. We're floating. Just activate the engine. Oh, the sound engine of the game doesn't like this. <laughs> activate everything. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I've heard enough. Let me out. <laughs> it works. It's just like the engines are bugging out. Like, because they're underwater. The game doesn't know what to do. But, like, I can either drop down onto my super fast speed version. Or I can drop down onto my normal driving version. I just want to see it emerge from the sea again. Just because it's cool. It does take bloody forever, though, to move. Come on. Move! I know I ain't going full throttle because of the stupid smoke stuff and it burns my ear holes. I don't know what the top speed is thing is in the water. I'll have to look back because I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't look. Yeah! And we're off. And then we cut the engines and now we use our normal wheels. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I could make it super fast. Like, I don't know how that would work. One last thing I want to try. How fast does this supersonic mode, that's what I'm calling it, go when it's on dirt? It does go quite fast. I'm going 50 ms right now. I don't want to go much faster than that just because it's going to explode probably. <laughs> it's like so cool that I can go like double the speed that I normally would if I was driving on the normal wheels. That mountain looks really far away. Like this little hill in front of us. When you pull the camera back, it's like way further than you think it is when you got the camera close. This little thing's tiny compared to it. But it works really well. I'm, I'm really happy with this thing. It's awesome. I would see if it takes off at the top of this hill, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> it ain't gonna take off. What the hell am I saying? Well, there we are. That was the Amphibious Vehicle Challenge. Again, it wasn't the most exciting thing I've ever done. Um... And I've had a few things in, in recent memory that I've done that have been quite exciting. For me, anyway. I mean, they were difficult shit to do. Um, and nerve-wracking. Oh, I'm on the wrong wheels. We're gonna die. Oh, ow. And end with an explosion. That was the Amphibious Vehicle Challenge. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Goodbye.